You've been out on the roads, you know it's a real mess out there. News Channel 15 meteorologist Adam Solarzik joins us downtown with details on road conditions and how the cleanup went. Yes, Brett and Heather, the road conditions continued to get worse as the morning went on as the snow increased in intensity. The dangerous road conditions led to headaches for many drivers and some people on social media were wondering where the plows were. I spoke with City Utilities and they told me that since midnight they had 50 drivers on their plow routes. The difficult part was that since the snow kept falling, it was hard to keep up with what was falling on the roads and that required the plow drivers to remain on their main routes. When it comes to state roads and interstates, INDOT is in charge of cleaning those and I spoke with them about their strategy for the plows when there is snow during the rush hour. We had a full call out of plows. We have 140 snow routes in those 17 counties. We had one truck on every route ready to go. And again, they were out patrolling, running their routes, looking for the first sign of the snow, and then getting ready to start dropping that salt in advance of that. And then as you start seeing accumulation, getting the plows down and getting that moved off of the roadway. Now, when you see plows out on the roads, you want to remind, or they want to remind you that you want to give them plenty of space as they go about their routes, and that is going to be for your safety and also for theirs. Back to the city roads, even within the last hour, you can notice an improvement in the road conditions as they have continued to treat them. We're going to continue to watch for improvement as they head through the overnight. Now they're starting to get to the secondary and even into a few neighborhoods across the area. Reporting downtown, meteorologist Adam Solarzik, News Channel 15.